Hi there, buddy. Uh, I want to get out of the sun. That's good. All right. We are at the 2012 Telluride Colorado Foray. Name and where are you from? We're from Prescott, Arizona. Okay. And your name? I, my name is John okay. and my wife, Barbara. All right. Have you been mushroom hunting before? Yes. Okay. Uh, for bullets or other stuff? Uh, that plus chanterelles, uh -huh. plus some other things. Okay. Yeah, there's one that we'd like to find out again about, but we'll ask you about that there's, later. There's, I've found over 15 different edible species so far, so Is we should find right? a lot of okay. good stuff. Okay. So, okay. so yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll definitely, hopefully you'll learn a lot too. So. Very good. Right, yeah. pleasure, well, pleasure to meet you. Hope, and, uh, let's thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. All right, name and where are you from? <clears throat> okay, uh, Gay and Daniel Renault. Uh, we are presently living in Prescott, Arizona, originally okay. from France. Okay. All right. And that's about it, basically. Okay. Uh, we drove, we heard about you from uh, on the site. I think I was doing a search on Mushroom. Uh huh. And uh, decided to, uh, we drove yesterday and uh, arrived last night and uh, be leaving after the hunt uh, tomorrow. Okay. Well, uh, so you hunt other mushrooms? You've, you've uh, we've done, but uh -huh. in Europe more. Right. And uh, basically what we did in Europe is set this one you have and okay. uh, uh, black trumpets. Okay. Well, ho hopefully you'll learn a lot. And uh, there's, I found over 15 edible species so far. Um, and, well, uh, as long as we have one of them, that's all okay. we need. Okay, good deal. Let's just try them all. All right. That's what we're going to do. Good. Okay. I'm going to saute up each individual species one at a time and pass the plate around right. so you can taste the flavor. Okay. Okay, name and where you're from. Roger and Mary Jane Swihart from Quinter, Kansas. All right, and and you're a morel hunter, so I you am. you know nothing of all I know nothing this about stuff. this stuff. Okay, well I'm going to experience. You're going to be hooked, I'll tell you that right uh, now. I hope so. so. Yes. I'm looking forward I, to it. Well, you know, I grew up as a kid just hunting morels. That's all, that's all I knew. Maybe puff balls yeah. in the fall. And uh, but yeah, there's so many good edibles uh, oh, yeah. that yeah, the, this this actually the King Belit is my girlfriend's favorite, uh, better, more than a morel. So so hopefully you'll like them. <laughs> All right, well, let's get out there and see what we can do. All right, name and where are you from? Uh, Julie Tran, and this is Rodney Tran. All right, we're from the Aspen area. All right, and what's your experience on mushrooming? Um, I like to buy them at the grocery store, and yeah. Rodney once in a while. <laughs> We'll go look for them, but maybe only once or twice a year. Okay. So I'm I'm a beginner, but Rodney's more intermediate. So All right. He can definitely recognize more of the mushrooms than I can. Well, hopefully you're going to learn a lot too. There's probably some species that's edible that you've been passing Absolutely. up, and Absolutely. you know we'll teach about. I've already seen like 15 different species that's edible. So right. hopefully you'll learn a lot. We're going to have a lot of fun. So Yay. let's get out there and see what Sounds we can good. do. Thanks. So all right. You, lose us? Yeah. you know what you're looking for? Exactly. Name okay. and where you're from. Dane Rudin. John Rudin. Okay. You go first. Come Springs. He can go. No, oh, okay. <laughs> you go first. And I'm from Denver, After Colorado. You. Whenever you're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Plumwood Springs. All right. Okay. And you guys go Colorado. mushroom. You guys, you guys go mushrooming. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right but we're not telling you where. Okay. <laughs> Just cheese. I, I got my own spot. I know you do. I'm going to get them from you too. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Let's go out and see what we can do awesome. today. Have some fun. Thank Rel you. Relieve stress. Oh, yeah. I know. So good that it killed me. Yep. What's his name? Stout. Stout. <laughs> First find of the day. All right, so right now it is 9.30. We'll meet back here at 10.15. That's 45 minutes. You can hunt both sides of the road. There's a lot of aspens. And farther up in there, there's some, uh, there's some spruce and, and uh, fir. And uh, so you're going to have a mix of bleats here. 
I know there's some pretty good bleats over here that I spotted the other day, so. Question, do we cut them off or do we pull them up? Better, better to the... Uh, cut them off is better. Cut them off and keep the dirt off so you don't have a bunch of dirt in your bag. Uh, okay. and, is this uh, north facing? This is north, I believe, yeah. So, uh, Wait, this, that's so, it's, so that's south facing. Do you have your knife on it? No, it's this way. Yeah, I had another one. Okay. So, so right, right here is, uh, what's this? This is, that's a baby, one of these. This is an aspen bleed. So everybody can see it before you pull it. I'm not going right. to yeah, pull it. Anybody wants to see an aspen bleed, that's what they, they are. Those are edible? Yeah, they're, I Someone like them. Someone took this. That's an animal. But that one's kind of done. That's an animal's probably done that. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, yeah, this is a good one. You can just so pin, pinch it off. Bottom, when these when these are gone like that, that just means it's been down for a day or two or a few days. And yes. It's unhealthy, right? Yes. Okay. They, they put one that's like that, it might have worms or something in it. All right. Chris, what is this? That's an Amanita. That one probably, that might kill you or make you very ill. <laughs> you can touch a poisonous. Don't touch me. You can touch. You can touch a poisonous mushroom, and it's not gonna, okay. it's not gonna hurt you to touch it. They're younger like that. That's even better. I'm not passing them. It's just I can't bend down to do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can do this. I'll follow you around. You seem to be good at looking for them. You got. I am a spotter. There's two, two right there, and one or one right, or two I'll over there too on that log. Honey. Here, you want to get the bag? You should have worn your yellow. That way I wouldn't need this hundred foot leash. Why what is that one in there? Is it stupid? Uh, that's probably a polypore. Huh? Why doesn't it have the thing that we usually have? Oh, because that's an old Where one. Where are you? That's a conch. Oh, wow. Yep. Artist conch. Are they edible? No, they live for... Finding anything up there? That big tree you're coming up on is a good one that could uh, possibly produce some some uh, king bolites. Yeah, that real big one right there between you and I. Actually, that actually the one up above too. Yeah, that's. Is it? I, I don't know. Maybe it's something else. Let's slice it off and see what we got. What's a knife? It's a honey mushroom. Edible? Yeah, it's a honey mushroom. I found a few yesterday, not that big. Oh, she, those two girls are together. I thought that was Julie. Yeah, those are good. You don't have a bag? No, Julie's got it. And right here we got oysters. Oh, well, yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, that's that's how how close I'd be usually fruit fruit in a line like that. Yeah. That's what. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely Clitosibe citrina. It's uh probably better than a portobello. Um, it's a decent edible mushroom. They are? Mm hmm. All right, we found a gum, Gumphidia subrosia. Can't mistake it with the wine colored cap, gray gills, and yellow on the stem. You want it? Yeah. That's good. Here is not any good. No. No, that's a quaternarius. It's got yeah, the. Those are no good. Okay. Yeah. But I found some good ones, John. Those little, those are all the mm -hmm. same. And those, this is all, all good. Okay. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. I don't know if it's any good or not. I find stuff. They may be a little wormy. Depends how old they are. But they look good. Chris, you want to tell the way I'm out of it? I'm gonna, oh, I think we're going to use this tailgate. Yeah. You got it off a trunk. A, a that's, a, that's an artist conch. Edible? This is good. 
Um, it's not edible, not edible. but artists, okay. artists use it. If, oh. if, if you can remove it without touching the bottom, it removes white, it stays <laughs> yeah. white, and I then really you can up, you I? can draw your name on it, okay. and it'll stay out like that. But yeah, it's an artist comp. <laughs> So are we going to spread out somewhere and show tell, tell people what we found? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to use this tailgate. Oh, had a little circle going. Yeah, they're clitocybe. Yeah. They're, they're edible. Clitocybe citrina. Uh, psilocybe? Yeah. Psilocybe. Okay. I want to see the top of it. Uh, John, no, those are not the sheep's heads. No. The no. sheep, whatever. There is, there is a mushroom that's called sheep something that looks similar. More scaly. Yeah, that... um, you don't know? Those uh, big corn flowers, mm -hmm. you know the ones that we that, we, that uh, they make the medicine out of. Right. The. Uh, yeah, I had them in the car. The ones I found yesterday. That's got a. That's another. That's a young agaric. You see how pink the gills are? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you got. Those are baby. From yesterday. Oh, those are baby. Those are baby. Those are baby aspen bleeds. They're edible. And then that. Yep. Another bleed. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Now. This one. Okay, so first off, we have these white ones. They have very variated uh, cap. It's not like a round cap. They just all in and out. The stem com comes down, the st or the gills come down the stem just a little bit. This is clitocybe. It's a uh, pretty good edible. And then we have uh, some more of these. Uh, this is a gumf gumphidia subrosia. Again, it's an it's an edible. Um, it's uh, it's got a, a whinish color cap, gray gills, and that yellow uh, on the stem when you cut it. Uh, we've got a couple suillas here. They're, they're edible. It's a bolete. It's got uh, pores on the bottom, and we have a, a, quite a few of uh, aspen boletes. That's lacinum um, insignia. The aspen bolete, when you cut it, it turns to turn blue. Turns a little grayish blue. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, are, they are edible. Yep. We have some uh, Lacaria lacata there. Uh, this is a earth star. It's purplish. They're they're non-poisonous. They're just so brittle. Nobody really want, They're not really palatable. But they are. They're not poisonous. They are. They are edible. Um, then we have another species of Clitocybe back here that's edible. And then we have the Agaricus related to Portobello. It's pink gills when it's young and it matures with a, like a chocolate brown color and it's edible yeah that's uh, if you if you look at a, a portobello it's a little more browner at the end of the store but if you if you look at the gills of a portobello it's they're almost identical uh, to a portobello and it tastes tastes like a portobello basically and that can't be confused with anything very easily not really okay um right here was one honey mushroom um pretty pretty rare this time of year it's usually a little bit later but it has a little bit of a, a annulus un, underneath of it and it grows off of dead logs and stumps and stuff like that usually in clumps it was kind of single um, edible. it's edible and I think that's all the edibles so now we're going to go to some of the other stuff we have fully odas here now there's a species of this it's very golden uh, the foliotas grow off of dead logs, uh, and this one is is not the golden foliota. Golden foliota is edible. The rest of them are really unknown. They, you know, just nobody's really uh, messed with them. But I've eaten the golden foliota, and it's pretty good. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to try those. Uh, we have cortinarias here. Um, they have rust color spore print. A lot of times, there's a little. I had one saved out. Yeah, this one. Um, a good characteristic of cortinarias. The the entire there's all sorts of colors of cortinarius. They can be violet um, and uh, uh, tans, whites, um, all sorts of cortinarius, but they all have the same characteristic. They have a, like a ball at the bottom of the root or, or the stem that comes up. And then they, they always have rust color spore print and that little bit of uh, rust residue from, from the... Uh, like a collar. Yeah, like, like the collar. Uh, just a little bit of that rust stuff under the mm -hmm. cap there. So cortinaries are out. Uh, then we have uh, a bunch of unknowns. Um, there's a false chanterelle there. Um, not sure on these. Um, they they remind me of a honey mushroom, but I just not going to take a chance. It's it's just not. Uh, it's similar to that, but it might, yeah. it, it might be honey. I mean, it just it sure? just be. not sure. I'm, I know I'm sure on that one. 
This one's a little little off. Uh, these are that's a Cortinarius again. Um, no, it's just a different species Cortinarius. Um, these I really don't know what are. This is another Cortinarius. They had a big ball on the bottom of it. You can see that how big, how fat the stem was at the bottom. But police have big balls at the bottom too. Uh, not the same. Not not like the the. It's it's a completely different shape. It's got like a ball that forms into a small stem, uh -huh. and the bleat is just a big fat stem. Yeah. Right. It, except the, the you know the 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 yes. aspen bleats have a small stem, but the king bleats we haven't found any of them yet. They look more like that. Mm-hmm. The stem. Great big thick things. Yeah. So we have quite a hodgepodge of stuff. There's I counted twelve different edibles so far. I threw that in at the end there. What is this? Oh, you just broke it. I broke it. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, that one, I believe, is an agaricus, but I'm not going to eat it because it don't have pink gills. Um, okay. This is the stem too. They're, the only agaricus that that you want to stay away from is one that have yellow stains on it. And see the yellow on the on the cap. It does right have there? stains. Yeah. It's stained yellow. Look at it. Yeah. Look at that. Where you broke it, it's yeah. stained see. up yellow. See oh, the yellow on the cap. Yeah. 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 It's oh, an it's an agaricus family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unknown on that one. So all the rest of the little ones in the sack are all bad. Yeah. Yes. Which is better? In Hericium. And that's a very good edible. I wish there was a lot more of it. Um, North Reading is that way. That way. Look the way I learned is that when you see these, the ground's good. Yep. See, there's some white ones right there. Like these mean. What are those? And those. I don't know what these are. These are Amanita muscaria. That was gorgeous. Yep. So he's right in here somewhere. Yep. It's 50 feet. And here's an old one. Yeah. Something. Was it on your side? Where is it? That's. <laughs> Did you find the one you marked already? Yeah, well, that might have been the the old one. I'm not sure. It was yesterday. Things like those. Yep. Yeah. Like Terry, like that Pelosiosa. one right there. Mm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. Should I get it? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yep. Nice and That's young. Warmed oh, out. that one's warmed up. There's another one right here. Oh no. Yeah, this is just a button. Those are good. Those little buttons. Find anything? Agaricus again. Yep. Yep. And then that button one. Is, yeah, that's good. And that that little button get it too. Right here. Yep. It's definitely honey. It's an older one there, huh? Yeah. It's still good though. One. Sometimes these will just clump and they'll just be 
hundreds of them. Bunch of them. Yep. Yeah. They... Clump of honey mushrooms. Please let it be young enough. Huge. Can't believe there. Anybody find any uh, any kings yet? Got some bullies on the side of the hill near the aspen. Well, I've finally found one. Very large, uh, nice King Belit. We have a very large coral here. I'm not sure which species. Three more kings. They're out away from the trees quite a ways. And just to let everybody know, I'm not way back in the woods. Right there's the vehicles. Squirrel's been nibbling on this one. Some babies coming up there too. Amanita muscaria. So 10,300 here. 10,300 feet. Over here. We get, wow. we get part of that too. Yeah. Great. Thanks. All right, so we have Matsutake right here. We got three of those. We have a bunch of King Belites. We've got some Rasulas, <clears throat> some more Clodocybes, uh, some more uh, Aspen Belites. We have some orange uh, Lactarius, uh, Lactarius deliciosa, and we have some purple Lacaria. They're edible. And honey mushrooms. They're pretty good. Popinky and Polish. We got. This um, is just what we picked up at this spot. Yep. Our hawks so are got, flavorful. Yeah, they're pretty good. We've got uh, so some coral mushrooms. Don't recommend eating those. Of course, we got Amanita and Muscaria. And we have hawk, hawk's wings. And they're, they're pretty good to eat. Yeah. Everybody come to get lunch. I have sandwiches here and there's mayo if you want to put mayo on them. Pickles, bananas. Uh, they're all they're all ham and turkey. Chris, thank you. And the witch stands in the middle of it. All right. Now that we rescued Mr. Reardon, yeah. and he yeah. emptied his bag, we have a, a bunch more stuff. So that's the before lunch find right there. <laughs> it brings out the oysters. So those are pretty rare, aren't they? Yeah, they come out in the fall, and uh, it's usually a rotten log or something. And, uh, Any specific type of log, or um, usually deciduous. This was a. This is not going by rules. Yeah. That's supposed to be rules because it's a, it's a conifer tree and it's coming out of the crack of. Okay, for, right here from where I'm standing, I can see the big white king bleat. <laughs> so, it looks like a rock. Yep, you spotted it. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> There's a big giant white one right down there. See, it looks like a rock. Oh. Right, right the tree. So she spotted it first, so I'll go down and <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> Is that the one you left there? Yeah. I was hoping there wouldn't be anybody here picking.
They're probably, the, the king beliefs we find here are probably all going to be white ones. Look at the size of that dude. You want to film me getting it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Not everybody is here. Who's? I thought everybody was down here. <laughs> we got excited. <laughs> Go beat him up. Oh my God. Beat him up. I like seeing domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> I was arrested for that too. Is that what those three little ones I had were up there that you said usually aren't that high? Yes, that's no, no. You found matsutake. That's a that's a Japanese favorite mushroom. This one's gonna be labeled the one Chris Matherly found. Oh, that's huge, man! Is that crazy? Look at that. All right, is it rolling? Oh, yeah, it's rolling. Right, You're recording. Go. Hold on, let me get pick. your picture. Hold on. Let's go. Come on. Stop. Uh oh, there's a little one by it. Oh. Hey. -o. Well, he's got a twofer. Wow. Look at that dude. That's Huge. Large. Feels firm. I've never seen one. That's wild. And this. Is that rare? That's a nice one. Holy right there. shit. It's firm as can be, too. <laughs> that, too. Wow. <laughs> That's next to it. All right. <laughs> is that crazy that. or what? That is massive. There's a, I thought I saw a little baby. Yeah, there's a little baby coming up, too. Jeez. There's another Look at that. <laughs> That's something else, isn't it? Here. Take that one. Got the whole family. Can't beat that now, can you? Nope. That's probably about four, That's the four pounds or so. So that's going to be some good eating right there. Seriously. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's 27. I told you. God, I, I said, you are freaking kidding me. No, I said, my lord. I said, like, 2021. 20, yeah. Yeah, those are, what we got here? Quartinarius. They're so, so common. Too bad they're not good. Oh, Leech, you got one. You got a white one? Oh, you dog. <laughs> Whole family of them there. Yeah. Uh huh. That's what you get for saying. Oh, he's lying. Another he's white, lying. another <laughs> white king. Yep. That's an oyster. Yeah. Was there more in the crevice of that tree? No, not much. Little ones. Where did we find the oysters? I thought they were right there, actually. Who's no. this dog? Oh, yeah. People want to see oysters. That's a big one. Nice oysters right there. So we're up to like 20 different edible wow. species now. <laughs> That's huge. Oh, Are you taking Beautiful. like all of the um like all of the sauteed to the pizza joint? Yeah, like I'm, all species? Or I just... think I'm gonna mix them all up, yeah. That's cool. Those are big ones. They are. Can't buy them that big at Kroger. <laughs> Uh, nothing. I think it's another amnita. Got a birch bolete right there. You want to get that one? No, you go get it. How about? You got a nice bag full. Hope they're good ones. I think they are too. Uh, no, giant clitocybe. No good. Yeah, when they're that old, I don't think so. Those are clitocybe. What does that mean? The same white ones we picked this morning. This one is. Yep. This is an older one. Yep, just an older one. Just crummy. Yep. Same thing as this young one here. Oh. 
We're all excited. Okay, so we've got some very large white king boletes. That's Boletus barosi. And we've got some tricholoma right here. It's a man on a horseback, little baby ones. We've got a uh, painted bolete, which is a suillus. And we've got some more uh, aspen boletes. We've got uh, agaricus again. We've got some oyster mushrooms. Didn't expect to find those. We've got honey mushrooms again. Uh, orange uh, lactarius. And uh, another kind of uh, suillus right here. We've got some white puff balls and some clotocybe. We have a greenish color and some burgundy rusulas and a bunch of white and we've got a few hawk's wings. So we, we have quite a selection. <laughs> Oops, I... Well, did everybody enjoy the mushroom pizza? Very much so. Full season. You guys enjoy the mushroom pizza? Awesome. Excellent. All right. A little bit. Alright, we got a nice little pile of purple lacaria, very delicate little mushroom, but we got enough to have a taste. We have uh, some of the orange lactarius again, honey mushrooms, um, the yellow coral, we have a tan and a, and a rosies a species of, of rusula. This is the junk pile, it's mostly quaternarius, and we got uh, some more hawk's wings, so hiding them with the teeth on the bottom. Those are neat. Yeah, these are nice and fresh, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. A lot of them were eaten up by worms. Mm -hmm. oh, so okay. I cut the, the end piece of it and see if it's wormy. Mm -hmm. Then I go up and then I uh, yeah. slice the... That's pretty good for 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, real good. <laughs> All I got. Yeah, nice fresh aspen bleeds. Yep. They look beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, well, at least you got some this time. Yeah, this year you just cut away the, the just take off the sponge, the sponge part, mm -hmm. and and the rest should be good. Mm -hmm. Look at how many I found. Yeah, there. I, I uh... the first one Dania pointed out. Yep, That's and it was just beautiful. They're in nice shape. Look at this. Oh, Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. yeah, perfect. Wonderful. And I have a whole. Yeah, they're really nice and fresh. A whole bunch of them. Nice find this morning. At least, at least you got one more good king. Yeah.
best soup I've ever had in my life. It's amazing. Well, you guys picked them, so I put them in. We got it's a lot incredible. Of in You're an incredible cook. <laughs> a lot of stuff in there. Glad you enjoy it. <laughs> Oh,